Well, what a 125 race now onto the 250s. 23 laps. It's Barcelona circuit. They race away from the start line, and it's Marco Malandri that's made a good start. Number five, the Giro Cato is also there. Also, Harada on the outside. I think it's Malandri or Harada that lead the way. Certainly, the two Aprilias. The pack stream their way through. Cato in third place at the moment. The Japanese rider that's won four of those opening five 250cc Grand Prix. The two Aprilias lead the way, and I think it's Harada that now leads. And certainly Melandri that's run a little bit wide, and Kata now up into second place. So the two Japanese riders battling it out at the front already, but Melandri, 18-year-old, pushes uh, Kato back into third place. We ride with his teammate Emilio El Zamora, the former 125cc world champion, in fourth place. So the two Aprilias lead the two Hondas. Half a lap gone. There we are, confirmation, Harada, Malandri, Cato, El Zamora. The Punier Rolfo, who rode a tremendous race in Magello, finished second two weeks ago. He still ride with El Zamora, that's his teammate, the championship leader, De Giro Cato, in front of him. And in front of him, the two Aprilis. We have a fall, oh, it's Katja Ponson, the 24-year-old German girl, two weeks ago, the first girl ever to score world championship points in the 250cc class. She's crashed out, but she's back in the race. Over the line they go. Harada leads. Melandri second. Here comes Kato up the inside on the break. Who's the braver on the break? There's no doubt about that. Kato now up into second place. Stung into action after losing for the first time in Magello. Rolfo also now looking threatening in seventh place. We still ride with El Zamora. He's fourth. In front of him is Marco Melandri. But as they race across the line, the two Japanese riders who battle it out now. Kato on the brakes again at the end of the 160 mile an hour straight. Kato effortlessly gets past Harada. The Honda now leads the Aprilia. Melandri still in third place. Kato setting the fastest lap in the race on his third lap. Well, he dominated those opening four races. The four marks to Harada. He scored points in all of those races. Then took his big chance in the rain two weeks ago at Magello. Melandri certainly not being dropped by those two Japanese riders. That is Melandri, number five in third place. Oh, and Kato runs wide, and Arada takes the lead. So Arada now leads. Kato, has he got a better line as they come back in? No, he hasn't, but Kato trying to go back up the inside. That was a mistake by Kato. He has now got the inside line. Is he back in front? Yes, he is. They almost touch. Kato now leads. Arada back in second place. Melandri just watches all the action from third, waiting to pounce. So, the two men that have dominated the championship so far this season lead the way. There is Cato. Behind him, Harada. And in third place still, Marco Melandri. Melandri, oh, Melandri is gone. He's lost the front end of the Aprilia. Marco Melandri has now crashed out of third place. He's trying to get back into the race. He's got those damaged shoulders. I think he's probably going to have the lead. That stricken Aprilia in the gravel. <laughs> the marshal telling him to get back on and the time bump started. Not a chance in that gravel. Marco Malandri, I think it's better if you just go back to the pits. There we are. Just catch him at the back end of the picture. Loses the front end of the Aprilia. Down he goes into the gravel. His race is over. Marco Malandri out of the race here in Barcelona. What can his teammate Tetsu Arada do? Well, that's the answer. He can close right up on the rear wheel of the Honda of Tejiro Kato and really give him a hard time. These two Japanese riders, great friends. Kato has enormous respect for Harada, the world champion, way back in 1993. And look at Roberto Rolfo on the Aprilia. He's now up into third place after finishing second two weeks ago at Magello. Great ride by the rider from Turin really has caught the eye this season and we're on board with Roberto Rolfo a bit of a lonely ride for him at the moment in that third place he wants to get that head down on the tank as much as he can on the fast part of this Catalonia circuit this is Rolfo having to concentrate very very hard indeed probably realizing he's not going to catch the men in front of him but he's third at the moment but Cato number 74 still leads Harada, number 31. Japanese riders on different machinery. 
And the Aprilias really have done a lot of work to catch up the Honda. Actually, the Honda of Giro Cato that was totally dominating the rating his first four Grand Prix. Here is Rolfo. Big gap between him now and fourth place. This is Roberto Locatelli, the current 125cc world champion at the front. Now, who's playing games here? Is Cato comfortable at the front or is Arado stalking him and going to make a last lap effort? Or are both of them on the limit? We're about to find out. There is Cato, there is Harada. Well, if Harada's going to make a move, surely now it's going to be pretty soon. They're on the back straight. And Harada comes out of the slipstream, he's gone up the inside, they're on the last lap. Harada tries it, not quite enough steam to do it. Cato shut the door firmly in his face. And I think now that Harada realises he's really got just that last bend, that long, long right-hander that goes into the start and finish state to try and beat his great rival. It's not going to be easy. Down the hill they go. Just this double apex right-hander to go through. That's the first part. Now into the second part. The chequered flag beckons for De Giro Cato. And Cato wins here in Catalonia. Cato wins. Harada in second place. And Roberto Rolfo has kept that concentration at 100% and finishes a fine third. Back to winning ways for Fausto Grassini's team. What a race over the line. We have that Jerry McWilliams, and McWilliams, in fact, finishes in sixth place. That's Nieto finishing in front of him. But celebration time for the Japanese Honda rider, Ruggiero Kato, and his fifth Grand Prix victory of the season. It's almost a gentle wave, isn't it? Confirmation of the result. Cato, Harada, Rolfo, Locatelli, Nieto, McWilliams, Alzamora, De Punier. So for the fifth time this season, the man in the centre celebrates with the champagne. Ruggiero Cato wins. He also now leads the World Championship from Tetsu Harada by ten points. えっと、ま、前に出てた時に僕が後ろから見てて、ま、最終コーナーとかやっぱり早かったんで、で、ま、それで僕が前に出て、ずっと前に行って、ま、僕のところ、ま、ファーストで、ま、僕のは多分遅